Namaskaram. Today is the world day to combat desertification and drought. Well, you may wonder what desertification or drought has to do with me, but it has something to do with all of us. The world is heading in this direction that in the last twenty-five years, we have nearly lost ten percent of the earth's land to desertification and uh, almost everywhere in the world, we are moving towards water-stressed existence in future, which means it'll affect every one of us. It's estimated that by 2032, nearly 3.5 billion people could be water-stressed. This will in turn stimulate nearly one or 1.3 billion people to migrate because of water stress. These are not healthy ways to manage our life on this planet. Desertification and drought are real issues for this world and it will affect every one of us. It's uh, as a part of this, the Safe Soil Movement along with UNCCD is uh, trying to bring about the necessary awareness and policy change in the world well, this ride that we have done now, nearly complete for the last ninety days plus, has brought about results. Uh, a few billion people have responded. Apart from that, seventy-four nations have given declarations that they'll move in this direction. I want every one of you, every responsible citizen on the planet, uh, to take this responsibility that you will keep the conversation on for soil and desertification because every responsible scientist is clearly pointing out that by 2045 we'll be producing forty percent less food and our populations will be over nine billion and that's not fun, that's going to be a serious trouble. It's estimated by 2035 to 40 there could be dozens of civil wars and famines all over. This year itself famine is manifesting in two nations. It could happen up to six to seven nations by the end of this year. It's estimated that in the next four to six months, three hundred and fifty thousand children could die in this famine-infested nations. So let our humanity be stirred. Let us not put our humanity to sleep and sleep on this issue. Desertification is a real-time issue. It's an issue of our generation, not of future generations. So let's save soil and make it happen. If we do not take the necessary steps of adding organic content to the soil, then soil will turn into sand. If uh, true solutions have to arise out of this, the most important thing is in every government, in every administration in the world, we must separate soil as a separate issue from other environmental concerns. Though other concerns are also true, they are also significant, but soil is that aspect that enhancing the organic content in the soil will not face any opposition, it does not have any economic consequences for any industry or lobby in the world, so it's important that soil should be separated and handled because desertification is an existential threat to human life on this planet. So let's save soil, let's make it happen. I congratulate the UNCCD for the work that they are doing and COP15 has taken these steps, but people of the world, all responsible citizens should stand up and raise their voice and continue to keep this in conversation till we begin to solve these problems genuinely. Let's make it happen.